Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this one we're going to have a quick look at the new MIDI note editing functions in Ableton Live 9 which are much improved over the uh, the last version in Live 8 or before. Um, the first thing I'm going to go over then is just the, the extra wee sections down at the bottom left here. Um, I've got a pretty simple riff that I just uh, stuck in here so I'll just play it around to begin with. And I'll just zoom in a wee bit here. Okay, so the first of the sections here we've got is a, uh, a double tempo and a half tempo. So if I was to uh, select all of our MIDI notes, you can quickly um, double the tempo or you can half it. So if I double it, it'll pretty much half the, the, the length of all of the notes. Or if I uh, shorten it, um, at half tempo, sorry, it'll it'll double the length of the notes out so that they uh, play longer. And um, so by half tempo, and you can bring it back just by doubling the tempo again. And the next of which we've got in is a reverse, which basically just flips all the notes around. And hit and reverse will just bring us back again. You can also invert the notes, which is just going to um, flip them uh, uh, horizontally. So this note goes to the top, and the other ones go around that. So, And again, hitting it again, I'll just bring it back. And you can obviously do both, so you can reverse and invert. So I mean, it's good for adding a couple uh, extra things to your to your sound. So if you're looking for a, a new kind of um, riff to go alongside the one that you've got, it's great to sort of experiment with these. Um, the next one then we have is legato, which basically just extends the notes out so that there's no gaps between them. Um, so for example, if I highlight across all of these notes and hit legato, it'll extend them all out. There'll also be no overlapping notes. So at the you can see, for example, there I have one here which bends up, it'll uh, remove that. So if I go legato, it'll shorten this one down to the, the start of that note and I'll extend that note out to the start of the next note. So if I highlight all of them in legato, and then you have to use the undo tool to get back there. So I'm using uh, Command and Z or Control and Z on the, the PC. You can also duplicate your loop out. So if I have all my MIDI uh, notes selected and a duplicate, it'll quickly make me a two bar loop of that, which is great for just sort of, um, if you want to change the second bar to, to something else, you can quickly just use that duplicate and that'll do that for you. You could even select this and maybe reverse it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to look at then is the ability to uh, stretch these notes out. So if I, for example, um, have selected, let's get back to my one bar here. If I've got all the notes selected, you'll notice that you've got um, these two new bits at the top here, which are your stretch markers. And they allow you to stretch your notes out, or you can flip them back around to reverse. And it just gives you that extra sort of uh, flexibility um, with your MIDI notes. So if I wanted to stretch these two notes out, I could easily do that just by using the stretch points at the top here. And while we're just looking at the MIDI notes then, I'll just quickly go over a couple extra things that I like to use, or I use a lot whenever I'm programming in MIDI, is the, uh, the transpose. So if we hold shift, I can up and down on your keyboard, you can go up and down um, by an octave each time. And then if you hold control um, on a PC uh, or command on the Mac, you can nudge your MIDI left and right, which is great for doing the sort of, uh, sort of off hits. I like to use it for claps and things like that there. It allows you just to nudge them ever so slightly without having to go into your grid to, to uh, change that to snap off and things like that there. So 
you can nudge them left and right. And then if you also, if you hold shift, you can actually um, extend your node out. And it'll extend by whatever your grid's set to at that point. So if you have a uh, smaller grid and you hold shift, it'll, um, if you notice the end of the note there is, for example, halfway between um, these two grid points. If I shift and right, it'll always go to that halfway point between the two grids. And if I was to make the grid even smaller, you notice it's just after this grid point. Again, it'll just go to the next grid point, but just after as well. If I make it bigger, you can see there where we're, we're just, what, a quarter of the way across this whole grid point. So it should jump to about there on each grid point. So that's handy as well for extending out your notes. And then the other, um, if you hold down your uh, command control, you can also shift the note to the right or left. I'm sorry, if you, if you don't hold down the, the command control, you can shift your note to the, to the right or left. But you'll notice, um, if I just zoom in, if you see here, the, the, the start point of this, um, of this note is just before the grid line. If I push right, it will snap to the next grid. But if I push right again, it will, it will snap to the, where it was originally. So if you imagine here, it's just what halfway between these two grid points. If I push right, it'll snap. And if I push right again, it'll snap to this point, but over here on this side of the grid. So if you have made your sort of uh, nudge, for example, um, if you've um, gone into control and you've nudged it slightly, but you want to put it sort of um, uh, a bar over, you can increase your, your grid points. And your first right nudge will take you snap to that, but your next one will take you to the same point that it was there. So that would be you there at the same point, sort of uh, what a beat along. Okay, so those are some of the um, the new features, some are new and some old there, um, but some of are all, all of them are, are very useful in in editing your your MIDI data. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again then in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.